beautiful souvenir to remember us by. We are a volunteer organisation and we do rely heavily on donations. So only $10 to take home a beautiful souvenir. Pelican to keep forever. I wish I could put leg as well, Wendy. Yeah, So just a kindly reminder, you do need to be seated after the show. So pop yourself down, we ask that you don't sit in between our two yellow lines. You need to be able to bring our fish crates down. So all our people standing on this front platform, you do need to be seated for the show. We actually won't start until you are seated. So pop yourself down and then we will be ready to start. <laughs> Идет, 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 красавец, красавец. Смотри, как они трясут крылышками при тушении еды. Нет, они сушат. Сушат по крылам? Да. Пускай, ничего страшного, все шумно сейчас. Такого не погладишь, это правда как клюк, красавец пришел. Показаться, какой он. Позирует. Да. Чтобы убегали, люди боятся, они близко подходят, и люди боятся. Ровно в 15.30 начнется шоу. 
Мешки растянулись. Голову, голову, Вот у него рыбка Молодец. Their diets will then vary a little bit when they do live in fresh water. They'll eat frogs, tadpoles, crustaceans, and they don't mind having a little nibble on the dumpling. One mouthful, and down that duckling goes, wiggling and jiggling all the way down that throat. Now you'd think such a big bird would eat a lot of fish, but they don't. They only eat about one or two kilos of fish a day. And we're feeding them Nanny Guy, which was purchased from Jimbo Seafood. When our birds are around three or four years old, they are ready to breed. And this is indicated by the pouch. It goes quite supple. It's out. turns a beautiful scarlet pink colour. And the yellow ring around the pelican's eyes turns a beautiful daffodil yellow. And both of those colourations show that they are ready to the breed. The nest of the pelican is made by mum. It's just a scrape in the ground and this is where she lays her eggs. She'll lay two or three. They're white in colour and about the size of a very large duck egg. And both parents share incubation or sitting on the egg to keep the nice and warm for about 35 days. And then our baby pelican starts to hatch and they're naked and they're so, so tiny. They can actually fit in the palm of our hands. And at this stage, I am sorry to say they are ugly pelicans, but they quickly grow into our majestic birds that you see here today. For the first two weeks, our tiny baby pelicans are fed a very thick, fishy saliva that mum and dad produce. And then after that time, the parents will alternately leave the nest, go off fishing, come back, bring the fish back and feed their young. Baby pelicans are very, very naughty and they do get disciplined by their parents as they grow very, very quickly. Remember when they're first hatched, they can fit in the palm of our hand. 16 weeks later, 
They are the size of what you see here in front of you. That's how quickly they grow. In 16 weeks, they are full grown. And we do have baby pelicans here at the pelican feed. And they are quite easy to spot when you know what to look for. The adult pelicans are black and white, and the baby pelican feathers are brown and white. And as these babies grow, those brown feathers will turn black, and then they are classed as an adult. <laughs> Our pelican feed here started quite by accident around 1979 when the local fish shop started to throw their fish scraps to the pelicans every day after the day's training. It became such a habit that if the boys at the shop were late with their fish scraps, these cheeky pelicans would march across the road where the water pipe is today. There used to be a main road that ran right down towards the bridge. So off they'd go, stop the traffic, cross the road, and just hang around the fish shop to put the pressure on the boys, boys to get their fish scraps. Alrighty, have your cameras ready. We're going to ask these birds a question. Let's see if they're paying attention. Alrighty, are we ready? Pelican, are you enjoying your feed today? <laughs> Pelican, would you like some more? They kind of do. So we had our beautiful feeding platform built and we have had hundreds of visitors come to see our beautiful birds, rain, hail or shine. We are here at 3.30 and we do rely heavily on your donations to help us out or purchase a plushy pelican. As I said, we are a voluntary organisation. So pop a coin in the buckets. The girls, Trevor and Gabby, are coming around. So by all means, pop a coin in. It is very much appreciated. Now you may have noticed the girls have their eye on a pelican that is badly tangled with fishing line. Two are badly tangled with fishing line. It is a huge problem that pelicans face. A fishing hook doesn't run away. In time it actually works its way into the bird's body and then it becomes an internal problem. And fishing line, well we all know it's made mm. from nylon which will last forever. <laughs> In time, it just gets tighter and tighter, and then it is a huge problem. Around the leg or something will become gangrenous, and it will fall off. This, unfortunately, there are birds with pelic and with lines around their beaks, and of course, they can't open their beaks to be able to feed. So it's imperative that we catch these birds, and we do catch injured pelicans here at the feed and tend to their needs. They do go off for veterinary attention. And If you're out and about on our beautiful waterways, wherever we live in the world, and we come across a native animal in distress, please take those few moments just to ring our local wildlife group. We have wildlife groups worldwide helping our beautiful animals. Take those few moments, make that phone call, and then you are part of the chain of helping out an animal. Please remember that they do feel pain. I'm surprised that sometimes people say to me, I never realised that animals feel pain. They do feel pain, and we can help them alleviate this painful plight that they carry on with. If you have a look down their throat, when they open their mouth, you can see the hole. That's the bird's windpipe, they breathe through that. They don't have nostrils up on their beak. When their fishing smell clamp that windpipe shut, so no water goes down into their lungs. They take on about 13 litres of water when they are fishing, so to expel that water, they drag their beak back towards their chest and the water will come out and then they're left with their yummy fish. Хочешь тебя попробую? Да ладно. Да. 